Back, back in, uh, back in town, I should say. Uh, what's so interesting is that uh, on the last moment, I see all these farmland that used to produce corn is absolutely barren. No one's farming. They're just left out. They're throwing concrete and building material. One tip load after tip load of building material waste being dumped in arable land, which is now parched, completely dry. No, no water, no life on the on the land whatsoever and I met this wonderful gentleman uh, we got to bus terminal and the bus stop he asked me where I'm from the first question anyway and there on I we had a conversation continued on here and what was so interesting Mexico is one of the biggest consumers of corn yet they used to produce this stuff. The previous president put a ban and restrict corn and start to import corn from elsewhere in the world. Today, they're struggling. There's hardly any corn. They had to import it from outside of Mexico. And they are the largest corn feeders on the planet. Yet, hardly any corn here in uh, Mexico City or Mexico the land is not producing any 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 corn and now I understand how the land has just been left uh, empty without any food or far, any any corn or other food produce being produced here on this land I had some fantastic fruits and this fruit juice for less than 10 pounds folks about 10 kilos 15 kilos worth of fruit and it's cost me nothing and the advertising and American idea of promoting synthetic foods has cost the humanity and the human beings dearly and particularly the health of the human population across the world. It is time you all wake up and realize that this synthetic, chemically produced food promoted on televisions and Hollywood movies has to go away if humanity to exist here of conscious nature. Thank you. That's my journey here in Mexico, coming to a somewhat uh, journey is ending. I'm in the hotel, so it's a bit of a funny, a funny setup to uh, experience to come in here. I hardly spend much time in this this place. 